The Durham Rescue Mission says they've received an outpouring of support and donations just days after someone stole and crashed their van into a gas station. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis took a closer look at the hit and how the community is now responding. A crashed in building at a towed white Ford van. It's a hit Ernie Mills Jr. says that's left him with one less resource, one less way to help. Everybody's in the pinch and, and we're in that pinch times 500 people. And then having to replace a van on top of that is, is another struggle. Mills, the vice president of development with the Durham Rescue Mission, says they've been working since Friday to replace one of the organization's passenger vans. After Raleigh police say a man stole and crushed the vehicle at a gas station off of Pool Road. Mills says the suspect is a client of the mission who was out with a group of people at a job training facility. We have a, a couple of small buses and um, quite a few vans, but we're moving 500 clients. Since then, Mills says they've had to reroute vehicles, change schedules, and adapt to get their clients where they need to go. He says as it hasn't been easy, but it's during that same time frame. Mills says people started to reach out. It's it's been amazing. People are calling, emailing. The, the community jumps to jumps to attention and um, just wants to help any way they can. After a call for help on social media, Mills says people in the community have already raised more than twenty nine thousand dollars to help replace the van. He says that supports come during a critical time, coming shortly after a record attendance at the facility just last year. Mills says. It's a response that's giving them an opportunity to do more, even help the client who took their van. You know, I'm not I'm not angry at him. And um, frankly, if he were to come back and, and won't help, that's what we do. That's what we're here for. In Durham, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. And police have identified the suspect as 30-year-old Landon Laughlin. Police say he's facing several charges, including damage and robbery from a business and possession of a stolen vehicle.